Good day, Ender Three Friends. As promised, I have brought you the Name Your Ender Project. You can get there by clicking Search in Tinkercad. If you haven't signed up for Tinkercad, I recommend that you use your uh, Google sign-in. It's super simple. When you get to the search button, just in the designs, type Name Your Ender, and it'll pop up a stock file that I've built for you. As you can see, there are a billion Ender Dragons, but we don't want those. Let's instead switch to Latest. Eventually, maybe you guys will like this one and it'll show up more. Right now, there you can see Name Your Ender, which was only made two minutes ago. Hence, not so many likes yet. Hopefully, we'll get a lot more likes. I am going to like it so it's got its first like, and then hit Copy and Tinker so you can be in the project. When the project opens, you are looking at the bottom view. If you use the view cube, you can switch it so you can see it from the right. And what we've got here is a piece of plastic that's going to slide right into the extrusion. And then we can put our name right on the side. And I'm even going to show you how you can cut it when you're done so that it's a super frugal print. All right, friends, from the back view, I'm going to click on my shape. And then I'm going to change to the back corner because I can see the rotation better. If we go way out, it goes any numbers. If we just go to the long lines, it snaps right to 90, which is wonderful for what we want to do. Just so it makes more sense, let's switch to the front. And from the front, we're going to hit W and then click on this flat space to make that our new work plane. Work planes are awesome because you can drop things on them. Let's go down to the Tinkercad All Shapes and scroll through and find the one called Script. Script is awesome because it gives us several cool font choices. I am going to switch to uh, Babes today. I like it because the pieces are all connected, which is nice if I build something taller than my attachment. So I'm going to type the word Ender. You can pick your own fun, cool name. Uh, you can stretch it with these black handles and it just goes in one direction. If you watch each centimeter, right now I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven centimeters across. You can pick whatever you think. You can also just look at the numbers as you click on the corners. It'll show you how, how big it is. And then from the side, I'm going to click on this dot, which tells me how thick it is. I want my words to be two millimeters thick. So there I've got my cool words. Now it's time to make the attachment device uh, as big as it needs to be. So same type trick. I'm going to hit W for the work plane, and I'm going to go back to the blue edge work plane. And now I can grab this black handle, and I can stretch the attachment part all the way across. Right now if I grab and select, I can immediately group this. And then to get it ready for printing, I like to print it in this direction. And then I have to lift it up. Now what's kind of cool is you can just start lifting and then change this number to zero. And it snaps right to the base of your bed. Now this is going to print fine and it'll slide inside and attach just wonderfully or it'll slide over and attach wonderfully, but I want to save plastic. So watch this cool trick. I'm going to go back to the basic shapes, scroll up and I'm going to find the cube and then I'm going to take one cube. Let's view it from the side, lift it way high so it's plenty tall and I'm going to stretch it so it deletes this whole side. So that's going to cut off a huge uh, chunk this way. And then I'm going to do Control D to duplicate it. And if I use the arrow keys, I can see that one move. And I want this one to come right to the edge of this or close. And I'm just going to slide up so that I don't cut off my little uh, part that's going to slide in the groove. If I wanted to make sure this part was perfect, I could do this again. 
and I could build it from that um, attachment spot. So watch this. I want to touch this wall. So I'm going to hit W for work plane. I'm going to click right there. So that is my work plane. And this next cube I bring out is attached right to that work plane. I'm going to go back to a side view. Set my work plane back to the ground. And now if I look at this part, let's scroll out a little bit, I can push it down to the ground. I'm going to do that same trick where I just slide it a little and type zero. And then I'm going to grab the up and down measurement and bam, snap it to that size. Grab the entire project and click the little group button and poof, you now have a sweet ender name that you can print and slide into your ender just like I did. If you want to use your own supports, you can. If you want to print it laying down, uh, you can do that, of course, in your slicer. So you could print it like this. I like to print it vertically, and then I use Mesh Mixer to make my supports. So let's do that real quick. I don't care about the name. You can make yours cool. I'm just going to hit Export, STL, and I'm going to put it in my downloads folder so I can grab it easily from Mesh Mixer. The nice thing about Tinkercad is it just saves right to the cloud. So if you go back to the little Tinkercad button, that project's there for you to edit and adjust and make more nifty until your heart is content. And this is Autodesk Mesh Mixer. So I simply hit import in it. And then I go back to my downloads where I put that copy of your name ender it brings it in uh, don't worry about the edges I've got a shader turned on that makes it look a little wacky what we need to do is go to analysis and do inspector this proves that it was all one good piece and then we go to overhangs and then I like my overhangs uh, for this one I chose 26 30 for the density 0.3 millimeter layers I wanted my post to be three millimeters and 0.4 tip and five millimeter diameter on the base. And when I hit generate support, it attaches all these little pieces to make sure that prints wonderfully. I click done, file, export. And I'm gonna put it in my STL file folder, but I'm gonna name it supported ender. Nameplate. And then once I hit save, I can bring that into Kira and I can send it off to print and you will soon have an awesome Ender nameplate just like I did with my sweet dope Ender one I made. Friends, thanks for watching. If this movie helped you at all, you learned anything, please click that like button. If you haven't hit subscribe, please hit that subscribe button. And last but not least, if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, hit that notification bell. Have a great day, friends.